you want to create workbooks for sale or to grow your list, but you're not really sure how, or you just want to process to do it a lot faster, this video is going to help you a lot. I'm going to demonstrate the whole process for you. And I'm going to use our 200 printable worksheets vault as an example. It's 200 done for you worksheets in a variety of life skills, but it still works if you would like to create your own workbooks and worksheet content, or perhaps you purchased a worksheet elsewhere. So let's dive right in. Okay, here I am hanging out with my favorite robot friend, ChatGPT, and I'm going to use it to brainstorm the workbook ideas. ChatGPT is perfect if you already have content, helping you expand it, repurpose it, and make it something even better. I'm working with the 200 printable worksheets that we've created for you. But if you haven't made any workbooks, worksheet content yet, you could also use ChatGPT to help you brainstorm that. And that actually is one of the lessons inside the printable worksheets vault as well, because we not only give you the done for you stuff, we give you lots of training. And when you log in, you'll actually see this is part of a lesson. And we'll give you all the templates, all the things that you see, and even the done for you workbooks that you see in this, that'll be inside your members area as well. Anyways, so what I've done is I've taken these 200 worksheets. Let's say you've got a bunch of PLR worksheets, take an inventory of them, grab the list. And what I've done is this is the list of 200. They're in five different categories. So there's personal development, health and being, financial management, relationships, and spirituality and mindfulness. If you are just focusing on one, then you can go into that. But I wanted to make a workbook for each category just to demonstrate this. So I write a prompt like, given this list of 200 worksheets, could you please give me five workbook ideas, one from each of the categories, because that's what I wanted. I think each workbook should have 10 to 15 worksheets in it. And I chose 10 to 15, and you can choose whatever you'd like. But I chose that because the worksheets are maybe two to four pages. And so that will give you a decent 30 to 50 page workbook out of it. So I pasted it all in. If you want the list, actually, in your downloads as well, we have this list. So it's easy for you to copy and paste. And I've also put the prompt into the members area for you as well. So we go down and it comes up with these five workbook ideas for us. And you can be more specific if you like whatever you would like it to do for you. So it gives us five ideas. It says the personal development workbook is building a resilient mindset and describes it and then suggests which worksheets to put in there. So this is a good start, right? We're probably, we're going to want to have an introduction to the workbook and explain how to work through it. But for now, this is good enough for us. So we have five different ones. There's the daily wellness reset, master your money plan, and strengthening connection and communication and daily practices for any piece. Okay, I'm good with these. Obviously, if you're not good with them, you tell ChatGPT, I don't really like that one, or I don't think this worksheet would fit in there very well. Do you have another suggestion? You, you correct touch GPT so that it's the way you want it to be. So the next thing I do usually in something like this is I go to the fun part and I go into Canva and create some covers for it before I actually build the workbook. So I uh, will show you that next. If you use Canva, you'll know that it's like a great, easy to use drag and drop tool. You grab templates and modify them. Some of these are based on templates that I found and others are made from scratch because a cover doesn't need to be complicated. This is basically a background image, some text for the title. Also, if you do have the book vault, you can also go in and I've given you these Canva covers so you can play around with them as much as you'd like and use them as templates. But let's take a peek. So I made those five, five covers that it suggested. There's the Resilient Mindset workbook. There's the Daily Wellness Reset workbook. Take Control of Your Money workbook. Strengthening Connection and Communication workbook. And the Daily Practices for Inner Peace. So anytime you want to make something, you can go in here. Like So I chose to create a book cover with this. So now there's a bunch of templates for workbook covers. So you can work from those. You can always use our templates. These are super easy to do. So anytime you want to know what, how a cover is made, you're just going to go 
to the position and layers and it shows you all the different parts you can edit. So there's basically a background color. This image is on a frame. See if I remove it, you can see that it's a frame. So anything you put in there will automatically go into that. That's set up for you and you can edit the text. And this is just a rectangle on top making a nice simple looking cover. You don't need to make covers complicated. I think a lot of people try to add a lot of stuff and try to what's in there, but just keep it simple, attractive, make sure your title is clear. So these are easy enough to work with and you've got different font groups to choose from. So they're a great way to font are tricky. And these are a great place to start with and work with. And so are when you go into design, you can choose. There's lots of different ones to work. With. So then you would export them. In our process, you probably want it in PDF format just to make it easier. So we'll go download here. We did share, download, and I'll do PDF. And because I just want one of the covers, I don't want them all together, right? I just need one. So I'm going to download the first one, which is the resilient mindset that we're going to work on. So here I am in my PDF creator. I happen to use PDF expert, which has a one-time fee and it's not too expensive. You can use Adobe. And there's other ones. You can search for free ones and see if they have all the features that you need. Most of them, from my experience, work very similarly. You're just going to search through all the things that they're able to do to find what you need. And they might have, you can search the help files as well. I also have a couple other things open. I have my covers open here, ready to pay, to select and put in. And I also have my worksheets ready to go. And another tip for you, when I'm working with content, I've always got my text editor open on the Mac. It's called text edit. And I just paste in stuff in there that I'm referring to, or I'll need to copy and paste uh, because going back to chat GPT or whatever else you're working is harder to do. But this text editor tends to stay open while other software is open. So that's why I have it there. So I would start here. We're going to go here. We need to go merge files. And you can drag and drop here. So I'm going to drag and drop and put in the, we have a resilient mindset is that one. And because that, that's the cover, I'm going to put it in first and then it go in the order. So if you want to do the worksheets in the order that chat GPT suggested, or you reorder it, you put them in the order that you'd like. But if you make a mistake, you can edit it later. No problem. So I'm going to be selecting these. And I'm not going to make you watch that. So once I've selected everything, I'm going to come back. Okay, so I've selected everything and I'm just going to drag that over to here. And now we've got our document coming together here. Now we have a workbook that doesn't have an introduction. You could run with this. Uh, if it's a paid product, you might want to go the extra mile and create that introduction. So I'm going to show you how you can do that before we do that. If you want to reorder the worksheets or anything like that, all you do is drag and drop and move it to wherever you'd like. Okay, back at ChatGPT and the prompts that I'm using, I have the fill in the blanks ones for you guys. You can download those in your members area and you can also view this chat in case you want to look through the chat and see what was in there. So I've put it together, the res Building Resilience Workbook, and below you'll find the worksheets that I added. Could you please come up with I always say, please, please come up with an introduction to this workbook so they know what it's all about, instructions for completing it, and some helpful suggestions for a best result. So I'm saying you paste it in here because you might change the order. You might want to put something else in there. So then we just click enter, and then it's going to come up with something for that. So it has this introduction, and obviously you would read through it, and you would edit it as you need. Right. And so it encourages that talks about about identifying with their problem and saying how to use this, how to get into this. So how to use the workbook and it has other suggestions to make it work. This you could put into a page inside your PDF creator or in Word. I'm more comfortable creating Word documents. So I would do that myself. You can do copy. And then it will actually look something like this. You'll need to, I'm assuming this is headlines and stuff. That's how it ends up coming out here. If you copy and paste it, it'll copy in there. And I feel like it usually looks a little bit 
better in that it will have the formatting that it shows. Your results might vary too. And I think sometimes first what software and what operating system you're using and also chat GPT's mood. Also, if you want to, you can edit it in here in Word and change the font. I always think it's weird that it adds these lines there. I delete those. But what I do also when I want ChatGPT, if I don't like what it said, I actually open that on my phone and I review the document. And then I, there is a microphone version on the phone. And you can speak into it. So you can view it on the screen and say, okay, I don't really the title. I'd like it to be like this. I'd also like in the introduction, I'd like you to mention whatever you want it to mention. So you speak it into the mic and then that way you, have, you can read it as you go and you can do really fine editing. Or if you prefer to edit yourself, you can. You can also ask ChatGPT to give you a downloadable file. And let's see how that one looks. So it's not bad. It gives you the headlines in blue and you can change it. You still have some editing to do. I find copying and pasting is actually a great thing to do and it works the best for me unless you are pasting a different kind of editor like a website editor or something like that you might find some garbly gook there and you might actually want the plain text version which is what kind of happens when you click copy okay we're gonna just work with this one i think our other checklists are in arial so I'm just going to change it to Arial and obviously you would edit it how you need it to be head edited. So then I'm going to save it and I'm going to save it as a PDF. I, I haven't figured out on my software I have to, when I want to add a page, I add, it has to add a PDF. So in Word, it's easy to do. Uh, if you're using Google Docs, you can do the same. You can export as a PDF. So I'm just going to put that as a PDF there. And then I'm going to run over to the here and I'm going to go append file. And if I go to my downloads, that's where I saved it. I have workbook instructions and it put it at the end. But all you do is drag and drop to the top. You could add something at the end, some encouragement. If you have a product for sale, maybe you're giving this work a workbook away for free, or maybe it's part of a training program, but you have a, a kind of a next level training. You can put a mention of it in your instructions. And maybe at the end, you say, congratulations, you've completed your workbook. Here's what we recommend that you do next. And that one of those things they can do next is purchase your next product. We also probably need to, <laughs> if we do need to save it, don't forget to save it. But now you have a PDF workbook. Now you're going to add a footer probably because you want to make sure they know where they got this from and all you would do, actually, I didn't know how to do this. So all I do is go footer and it's telling me how to do it. So edit PDF, header and footer. You can add page numbers. We want to add page numbers and we don't need it on the first page. So we go two to 38 and we would like bottom is my favorite. So I'm going to put that in there. And then you can also, again, do the footer here it's under edit pdf and you can add text i'm not going to add any text to this one but you would do the same because i'm going to actually give you guys this and you don't want my footer so you could put your name your company name a link to buy a product a link to join the community to remind them about whatever you like there and again you probably do pages 2 to 33 you can add your text and you can choose the the layout here as well and you can do different color text, et cetera. And you'll be ready to roll with your awesome PDF workbook. Yay. I hope you guys found that helpful. And if you already do have the printable worksheets vault, you can log into your account. You will get access to the prompts I showed you, the Canva templates for the covers, and Actually, we've put together the five suggestions. The workbooks are going to be there ready for you to do whatever you'd like with. And if you haven't joined us, we definitely recommend you do. It's going to be a great time saver. Lots of training. Also, if you want to create those worksheets from scratch, right? We teach you how to do that, give you great prompts for that. Whether you want to make a workbook or worksheet for your course or you're creating them from scratch, we've got all of that for you.